There. All right, guys. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a tincture. That's my first attempt into one. Uh, you can do it with anything you want, any herb you want. But just for today's video, I'm gonna be using uh, raising mushrooms. These are dried mushrooms. Um, we'll see how that goes. Well, let's st let's get started. What you'll need is a 100 proof vodka. The reason for this is that you need a 50% of water and 50% of alcohol to release all the all the stuff from the reishi. Some of them are water soluble, some of them are alcohol soluble. So you need you really need this concentration. If you can't find it 100% proof, go for 50 proof. Uh, optionally, you will need a scale. I'm going to use this today to measure what the weight is of these reishi. We're going to be using a mason jar, which is 32 ounces. We're not going to fill it all the way up. We're going to leave a little gap, so I'm guessing it might be a little bit less than 32, maybe 30. Uh, a label, so you know what, what it is when you start it. This is going to sit in for six weeks, so it's important to put a date. The date today is like the 29th of December. So, yeah. Just remember, this is a 32 ounce jar, so whatever I measure here, is going to be for this portion. Uh, you can buy the aeration in full form, it's dried. I prefer to use dried stuff, it's just easier. If you're going to go with dried, the ratio that you would need is 50 50, 50%, 50 uh, sorry, non dried and 50% uh, dried and 50% alcohol. So, what I did is I went ahead and I chopped this up, the aeration mushrooms up, either using the scissors, actually, they were, they were pretty easy to chop up, so I just used my hands. Uh, I don't know how much that is. I'll tell you now so you guys can you know measure it in your scale. What I'm going to do is uh, since I've already put it in here, I'm just going to put this here in the scale. And it's a, this thing is 15.25. I'm going to reset the scale and now I'm going to add the AC in it. Hopefully none of it will fall out while I'm doing this. And some of it did. That's okay, we'll just throw away this part my hands, maybe it's faster and easier. Again, you guys don't need to do this. I'm just doing it so you, you, I can tell you how much I used in case you want to replicate this formula with your AC so you know how much you need to cut up. Again, this is this should be about a third because I'm using dried reishi. If you're using a non-dried stuff, it has to be half. So this is about 1.5 ounces. So you need about 1.5 ounces of reishi mushrooms in this thing. I'm going to turn on the scale now, put it aside. So since it's, this is about one third, maybe a little bit more, I guess. Um, all I have to do now is fill it up with vodka. Again, this is 50-50, so this has 50% water and 50% alcohol. If you can find alcohol directly at your pharmacist, pure alcohol at 100% or 95%, make sure you add 50% of water. Pro, hopefully filter water. So I'm just going to start pouring it in. So the reason we're not going to fill it up all the way is that these mushrooms will expand. So expansion of the mushrooms means they're going to take up more space in the jar. So you really want to make sure you leave a, about, you know, a little gap at the top of your mason jar. So I would say just go about 30, 30 ounces. So I'll stop around here. And then I'm going to seal it. These jars, I just got them from uh, Publix. It's a local uh, store here in Florida. Feel free to use anything you want. Whatever you do, just make sure that the AC or whatever herb you're using is completely covered. So that's it from me for now. Uh, I'm gonna show you more about the, of how this tincture comes out in a bit, in a, in a bit, meaning six weeks. And I'll see you again. Thank you.